Should I scoot over towards the back? Hold on, here? it's... Scoot back. Yeah, sorry guys, we're still figuring things out mid-recording. Hi hey guys. Sorry. Why don't we we can do this? And then we can do it or not. Put one here. Because we're live streaming right now. Yeah, I know. I am fully aware of that. There. Ta da! But now only one of, one of us is in frame. You're right. Okay. Sorry guys. <laughs> Sorry. Seating arrangements. Yeah. I'm gonna sit. Over here, then. Yeah, no, I can sit over here because no, remember no. the black You're the is. Host. Uh, You're the host. I can sit here. No, babes. Emily. Okay. Okay, I will sit there if you want me to. Yes. Because you're the cameraman. You know better than I. He, but I'm you're sorry. usually the one who likes to speak with the audience, and you can see the chat better if you're up closer. Mm -hmm. True. Sorry, guys. He's the cameraman. I'm gonna lend it to him <laughs> since he knows what he's doing. Hi. Jake knows best. I'm um, actually. Hi, sorry. <laughs> uh, difficult. <laughs> so today we're trying the new Mountain Dew Rise. Um, Mountain Dew's partnership with uh, Kobe Bryant. No, no, not Kobe. Kobe's uh, Michael Jordan. I thought this was LeBron James. Someone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm my sorry. Gosh. Pardon me while I go check. I have a brain I'm, injury. I'm it's okay. sorry. It is not as... It, I'm so sorry. Let me just fix this. Um. Hey, Google. Who is Mountain Dew Rise's new partnership with? PepsiCo. On the website drugstorenews.com, they say, PepsiCo is shaking up the energy drink game with a brand new entry into the category. The company partnered with NBA star LeBron James on the launch LeBron of its new James. Mountain Dew Rise Again, I am incredibly sorry. I'm sorry. I have a brain injury. Things get mixed up in here. Anyway. <laughs> we've got the 12 pack and there's only six new flavors, so... There probably will we only have... be six because I, I... No offense, but I find other flavors unnecessary. At that point, if you, if you go past six or eight, it's a bit, it's a bit excessive. Unless you pronounce more success, like um, Bang Energy Drinks or Monster, or Mountain Dew itself. But with Rise, I could see there being potential, but for now I think six is a good number to stop at. But that's just my opinion. I'm not an expert. Oh, cool. So apparently, there's a little <laughs> QR code on the back I'm not going to show you guys because it unlocks content, gear, and music or something. So. <laughs> cool. So yes, now that we've got that covered, Emily was right. Yes. I remember this was with LeBron James. If you see this box, it's immaculate. Um, it has. Yes, you do that, and then we will. It see. has little lions all over it. Like you can't really tell what they are. They kind of look like the actual continent of Africa, but um, that's that's from far away. Up close, they're lions, little ones. Aren't they just adorbs? They're pink side. Blue side. And then I think there will be different and then just colors flavorless on the, uh... Yeah, oh, and they all say Rise, Rise Energy. If you can see, it says Rise right here in the middle. Yeah. It says something for mornings or whatever. Conquer the morning. That's Conquer the room. morning, mental boost. Energy. Immune support, 180 milligrams of caffeine. The, it's their new kick because I guess he's... I guess Jake said LeBron wanted to implement something to uh, be like a coffee replacement, so... And I like the way that they're packaged in here. They're not laying down. They're in a nice oh, yeah, they're separated. grid formation. That's cute. Which I enjoy a lot. Yeah, it's protected to the cans. Um. Sadly, so oh, all of these look like they only have five percent juice. In pick, them. uh, pick one. Any of them? Any of them. We can tell that these two, these two, these two, these two, these two, these two, like those are the same ones. We all know they're the same, yeah. So they're sorted by color and they're set in pairs. I'm going to go with, I don't know what it is yet, but this pretty peach one. Peach Mango Dawn. And the lion on it is a nice 
Oh yeah, and there's a lion. There's a lion on this too, and it looks exactly. It says dawn. He literally looks like a um a sunrise. Look at all those colors. Look at all those colors. This color blocking scheme is actually pretty dope. So that's cool. Thanks, LeBron. Isn't she adorable, guys? Um, approximately two. This one can is equal to two cups of coffee. 5% juice, 0 grams added sugar, zinc, vitamins A, C, and antioxidants. Oh. Zinc helps support immune systems mm -hmm. and uh, caffeine in combination have been shown to help improve attention. So. <laughs> cool, yo. Oh. Yes, I forget. He's the one with fingernails. I <laughs> I have anxiety. I have calloused fingertips. People say I scratch like I have fingernails and they don't realize that's just skin-to-skin -skin contact, which is pretty unnerving for me, but it sucks because I am not capable of opening soda cans, so I usually use tab openers. I'm putting the open ones back in the box and taking out the closed equivalent. So he has some first collection. So I can put them up right there to show you what we've already drank. Lucky for me, though, I have him to open my cans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that's actually really good. I like how this actually doesn't taste like Mountain Dew. Not at all. It it's like um. Because like most of these Mountain Dew combinations like taste like Mountain new Dew flavors. Of they Mountain have, Dew have the have wine the... in them still. Like yeah. no matter what. Whenever Mountain Dew makes a new flavor, it always has the lime hidden in there somewhere. Always. And sometimes I disagree with that. No I offense. taste mostly ma uh, peach. Mango. What do you taste? No, you're right. Peach and mango. What are in here again? It's peach and mango. It's Rest peach and mango. It, it, tastes, it tastes like both. It tastes like both. It's a really, it's a really good blend. It, I, it really is. I almost say this would be a run for... I always chose... Poppy own over sweet lightning. No offense. Sweet lightning is good, but it tastes like Mountain Dew. Sweet lightning, by the way, for those of you who don't know, is, is a KFC, KFC exclusive. exclusive fountain drink. No bottles. Poppy own is better because Poppy own stays true to flavor. No offense. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Mountain Dew, but sweet lightning Mountain Dew just can't seem to let the lime go, and I don't know what their problem is. And the peachy like mountain, it. the peachy but lime Poppy is monster. Not good. Poppy Own Monster is amazing, and I would say if you want to know something that would be a really good competitor right now would be this. This literally would give Poppy Own a good run for their money. So kudos, kudos LeBron. That I actually, I like this. So Poppy Own's in for trouble. Okay. Um. Go on this one. Pomegranate blueberry. Ooh. It's got a nice blue line with red eyes and a red nose. Oh, he does. Look at that one. Oh, he's just as pretty, if not cooler. And each can only has 25 calories. Oh, is that true? Okay, because it says they only have 5% fruit juice in them. That's what I found concerning. Each can only has 25 calories. Jeez, well, I mean, coming from an athlete. <laughs> you gotta stay fit. You gotta stay fit, <laughs> yeah. Watch as we drink one of every single one of these cans, and that's about the <laughs> we, we, all, we all just crash. <laughs> we just about had 180 cals, even though these are 25. I'm just kidding. What color do you think this is gonna be? Blue. I say purple. I was thinking purple, but we, I guess we're in for a shot. Watch it be clear. Well, that too. Nope, it's blue. Light blue. Emily calls it. Mm. It's this one. I will say though, actually, I, I did. I am a bit of a liar. Never mind. The second shot I had of this. Uh, you did taste a little lime. I did taste a little lime. A little. I can kind of smell it in this one, but thank goodness it's kind of faint. I still think it's. This it is doesn't like, taste much at all. No, like it doesn't. Regular Mountain Dew. It does not though. It has a very strong true to true to essence kind of flavor, but there is still a bit of hidden lime in there. But it's not bad. It's not like sweet lightning bad. It's it's its own flavor. So again, 
I'm sorry, but excuse me. This what is this again? Pomegranate blueberry? It's a pomegranate blue burst. Blueberry. Um it smells like voltage, but better. <laughs> it's like blueberry cobbler voltage. It does. Yeah. Have you ever had blueberries before or blueberry cobbler or blueberry muffins? This literally legit. This and by the way guys, this time I don't have my second uh account saying. up uh monitoring chat and I apologize. Oh. Oh I like. Oh, okay, you, you can still taste the lime in this one for sure, Ooh. but this is good. This tastes like the blueberry lime trident gum. I mean the blueberry pomegranate trident gum. Mm-hmm. That's got like the layers, you know? Oh my goodness, though. Okay, yeah, there is a bit of a citrus kick. Maybe not lime. Oh, not my favorite, but. Maybe not lime. Yeah, see, that's, that's the citrus. Out, out of the two of those, I would say the mango one was better. Better. You could still taste some heavy citrus in here. Here. It about, was an aftertaste, how but about there's with, some citrus. How about with these, with each one, we rank them like which one was best? Peach Best Donald being obviously. over here, worst being down here. Sounds good. And so far, because we've only tried the two. This it's on the opposite category. opposite spectrum. All right, All right next now choice. you try one that we haven't tried yet. Whew. Um, I'm always going with the warmer cans. That sucks for me. <laughs> um, I already chose orange. I want to choose yellow. Go but ahead. No, I, let's go with something green. Um, you want to do light green or dark, dark green. green or the one with the raspberry tabs. Yeah. Sorry, that sounds weird, but there are two lime-colored ones in here, but one has melon-colored tabs and one has raspberry-colored tabs. I think I'm going to go with one with raspberry. Berry Blitz. Um, oh, yeah, don't... Again, She's another dope lion. Check that out. He's purple. <laughs> purple with green eyes. Again. And I don't know who does this line work for them, but the geometric thing really catches the eye. Whoever did it... Dope. Oh, I can actually Maybe. catch this one. It was just barely a lit right there where the tab was already raised. So. Ooh, it's nice. That's really purple. Great. Consistency. That's very purple. Oh, hi, Ari. Do we dare? It says it's berry. Dink it and sink it. This does remind me of Trident gum. And it very much so has a citrus aftertaste. Yeah. It's berry though, so nonetheless. It's berry, but you, it's still got that. Aftertaste. Sorry, LeBron, I'm starting to. This one, still. Still the top. Yeah. I would say this one though, I would go over. Over lower? Yeah. Or over the over blueberry? Over the blueberry. So blueberry pomegranate is really good for smell, not so much for flavor, but the berry blitz, better taste and smell. Well, no, no, no. I lied, sorry. Blueberry has a good smell. Yes. But we're more closely ranked in taste. Here. Yeah. So. Your turn. Do you have any um, last things to say about this one? Nope, I just I just don't care for the aftertaste, but Mountain Dew, you do you, so. I'm gonna go for the dark green, which is Tropical, Tropical Sunrise. Sunrise. I believe this is the one he advised would probably be one of my favorites. This has got a nice see. yellow lion. Oh my goodness, he does look very... With the green eye and the green He looks noozle. very Rastafarian. I dig it, I really do. There's no red in here. 25 grams. But it's, it's oh. just so vibrant. Oh. It's dark green, orangish, goldish, and yellow, and it's it's very Rastafarian. I like it. Ooh, this is a nice yellow. Ooh. Ooh. It looks almost lemonade -y. It does. That's really... It's not the regular, like, Mountain Dew greenish no. yellow that you it's, can see, but... It's very yellow-yellow. Like, it's very poignant. Like, it's more of, like, a mellow yellow. No, not even that. It's, it's still yellow. It's more yellow than... It looks like straight up like pineapple juice Sorry. concentrate. I didn't mean to block her. <laughs> it smells like pineapple. Dink it. And sink it. Sink it. Mmm. And that's why.
It is pineapple juice. Huh, that's why it's so yellow. Wow. And this one, I would... Oh, that's, that's a close one. To me, this one's still better. I know, that's, it's a close call though because as we try flavors, you start tasting it less and less with the more tropical fruits. I think it's because the pineapple is more acidic and overpowering, so therefore you almost can't taste it, but there's still an aftertaste. Oh, the citrusy? Yeah, there's something citrus that follows, I don't know, but I do put it on this side because these, these are pretty darn good. This is a really close call for me. We should, we should have, we, later we'll have to come back for these oh, and taste yeah. them side by good side. Good thing we have open cans. Good yes, we, we don't have to cans. open these. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yellow or the other lime green? Um, yellow now, let's see. Um, orange breeze. Oh, this, this is one's probably going to be my least favorite, maybe. He doesn't like orange usually. I don't like the artificial orange. Um, except for orange soda, the ironic cat. So maybe this. My, I might like. This is, this is not as Rastafarian. I like how most of it, again, it's geometric and comes in color blocking. So if you can see the different shades. He has a very sharp yellow nose and yellow eye though. And then the can itself, if you see this, has orange, or I mean, yellow banding around it as well. So that's meant to, you know. I think it's cool. It's very, um, Sorry about the cat in the background, guys. It's very uniform on the first thing I think of when I think of uniforms. Basketball uniforms. You're not wrong. That's probably mainly because it's made by LeBron James, so it's like, yep. I like how he's just kind of got a little cloudier, kind of more. Yeah. Like it's I like organic mango kind of. It does look like mango. Oh. Gosh dang it, Ari. Sorry guys, that was the cat rolling into the camera. The cat rolled in the camera and knocked it over. She what? Rolled into the camera stand and knocked <laughs> it over. And this is a live recording. This is like going out live. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and the cat just ruined it. Uh, I think the audience will get a kick out of it, whoever's watching. We have one viewer? Or is that you? Uh, no, we have one viewer because I'm not... Okay, sorry guys. I don't have my secondary camera up right now. So. <laughs> Um, very orange. Look at that. It does look like organic mango juice. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that again. <laughs> Flop. <laughs> <laughs> Bink it. Sink it. Sorry for stealing this from you. Uh, Rhett and Link. What? You got that from Rhett and Link? My oh, goodness. Bink it and sink it. This one actually isn't that bad. It's citrus on citrus, so it kind of masks the more citrus, obviously, but citrus on citrus on citrus, you can't go wrong. So again, I don't know what to say about this one. It's not confusing, it's pretty straightforward, but it's not the it's not the best, but it's not the worst either. This would be my intermediate, especially seeing how we have one more flavor left. So it's not bad, but it's not good, yeah. It belongs there. It's this is neutral. It's middle word. It's not bad, but it's not good either. To it's me, just... just personally for me, it's leaning more towards this side. Mm -mm. But we have one more left to try. It's not. Yeah. Again, it's very neutral. It's not bad. It's not good. You know what it reminds me of? Have you ever had Tang, the orangutan juice from the nineties? Oh, you're missing out. So I wasn't. Oh, that's right, you were born in 2000. I'm so sad. Um, for those of you who might be my age, 90s kids, yeah, yeah? She's four years older than me. Uh, Sunny D and Tank. This brings back some memories, so. Mm. Strawberry melon. I will cry if this tastes just like Major Melon. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Except with more caffeine. I, no, I, I don't mind that. I just don't like the fact that it has such a... Oh, it's pink. Ooh. Well, so is Major Melon. It's Major Melon. <laughs> it smells like Major Melon. It has if a it's going to be Major Melon, I'm going to cry. I just repackaged it. 
It's not this. It, it does have strawberry to it. It has that. Um, I don't know if it's gelatinistic per mm -hmm. it, but because of the strawberries, it smells like strawberry lemonade or more like cotton candy scented. But other than that, it's pretty darn close to major melon. Yeah. It's darker. It's, it's a slightly darker pink. It's almost reddish. Sink it. Sink it. It's I taste more melon. strawberry than the major melon personally, but it's, it, it's basically major, major melon. melon. Um. Personally, for me, it outranks this one. But what do you think? Mm -hmm. I say we have a good, a bad, and a neutral side because to me, these two cans belong right down the middle. They're recycled flavors. Um. This one, if you haven't tried it before, is basically the uh, Game Fuel Lemon. Oh, I haven't had Game the, Fuel Lemon, but... Is the um, old... It's Sunny D for me, but... It's those old um, ones that would only come out when new games came out, you know? Like the Citrus Blast, the oh, Berry that's... Blue. That's basically the yellow one. Okay, well, yeah, that works, that works. For me, it's Sunny D in a can. Um... Yeah, and for me, I would still say it's tied between the uh, Dawn and the uh, Tropical Sunrise, so... Uh, um. I guess we're going to have to pick our best again, so we'll choose this and uh, this and see yep. which one outranks the other. So we're going to go again for a couple more shots. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we don't have to. Yeah, every time. <laughs> oh, geez. That's still that pretty still good. still really good, even with yeah. all the aftertaste of the other ones. True. Um, okay, and then... Yeah, you know what? I think that I don't know. It's right down the middle. Personally, for me, for me, I would say the Dawn would still be the best, top notch. But this tropical sunrise. So I think that's that's that settles it. This is about right. So we have our goods. Nope. Our neutrals. Our goods. Oh yeah, sorry. Our goods, our neutrals, and our bads. So the goods would be would be the beach, peach mango, mango Dawn and tropical sunrise. The neutrals would be strawberry melon spark and orange breeze. And then our bads are berry blitz and the pomegranate blueberry or the pomegranate pomegranate blue blitz. Yeah, the burst. Yeah. Don't do pomegranate blueberry burst. Basically. So, out of all the new flavors of these rise drinks that they've come out with, we would say go for either the dawn or, or the, the tropic yeah. burst or the tropic tropical sunrise. Excuse me. Kudos. Did, did LeBron James ever have anything to do with Nike shoes by any chance? We'll have to look that up. We should, because you know what most these remind me of besides basketball uniforms? Nikes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly where my mind is going. <laughs> well. Look at how strikingly similar these cans are, aside from the... Uh, lions? Aside, yeah, the lions are the only distinctive thing on these ones. Check these out. Purple, but what does he have? Green eyes and a green nose. Pink, green eyes, green nose. That's the that's the only way you can tell these two cans apart because they both have green bands and almost matching pink tabs. That's no joke. One's darker, one's lighter. You have to really watch out for the lions, otherwise, they're almost the same shade of green too. So, adorable. You're fine. Well. Thank you for coming to our TED Talks. <laughs> I think he's messing with you. So in no way a TED Talk. This is just informative and fun. Yes. <clears throat> um, stay tuned for other days where we may have more things to try. I thought we were going to try something else. Why don't well, we try one? Well, we would, but in like a different... Category? Yeah. Oh. 
Bummer. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you all in the next stream slash YouTube video, because if you guys don't know, these go up on YouTube right after their stream. Thanks, guys. <laughs>